go straight to video. Alright, what do we what do we think of that little flight? Excellent. Excellent, yeah. Good place to do it, innit? Come on, baby. Yeah, so we've just had the drone up. Um, fortunately you can't record sound on the drone unless you can like attach a mic and a, somehow have a battery powered mic on it that, uh, with some sort of recording card in it. I don't know how that would work. Someone's probably done it. But uh, you'd get a lot of wind. You'd need like a mic with a wind protector on it and yeah, but well, that's pretty cool and it's a good place. First time I've had the drone out on the beach and it's probably the best place to do it, isn't it, for anyone who's learning. Yeah, got it. Really good. And we've got some quite good footage. Uh, nice. Yeah. And when, when, when I tried to uh, take the drone off, it, it, it brings up a restriction because you're in an airspace here, because there's, air, there's, there's aircraft nearby. And you have to, uh, you have, they have to, you have to acknowledge your full responsibility, because I've got, because the drone's quite small, it's within the uh, weight limit within the UK laws. For, um, it's less, it's less limited compared to the bigger ones. Uh, but you still have to acknowledge they have to send you a code, so you, you put your, your your ID and your address, your phone number type thing into your account, and then they. Uh, you're acknowledging that you're responsible for anything that occurs regarding the aircraft if it flies into an aircraft. Which is it. The only planes we've seen here are very high. <laughs> you know, I've not taken the limitation on the height on the on the on the thing off, so we're not going to get anywhere near them. And that looks like a is that a tugboat or something? Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can make it out on 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 a how do I zoom in on this? That is some sort of a big vessel, isn't it? Oh, well, you can't. You've got to preset the zoom on this, I think. You can't do it while it's in film. Still got loads of power left on that, 61% on that battery. It's been sat on my bag for months. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> it's good getting to know your kit and how long much you'll get out of it and get a feel for it, not just looking at your watch and looking at what it tells you on the screen because then you can estimate how many of them batteries you're going to need for whatever it is you're going to do but the more you use your kit the more familiar you're going to get with it and then it's good it's good to get out and use it otherwise you know what they say um don't use it you lose it yeah um ri ridden not hidden <laughs> that's the other one ridden not hidden there's no point in having a portion in your garage if it, if it doesn't get used Oh, he's, he's, he's fascinated. <laughs> organic, different organic life. What is it? Oh, he thinks it's a chewy stick. It's going to be sharp, that for him. Would he leave it? Hey. Would he? You can't have that. Leave it. Cut Out. yourself. <laughs> he's, pretty, he's pretty intrigued though. He's not normally so intrigued, is he? No. He's quite in, interested in all this... Uh, Aquatic remains. It's a different world to him, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's walk, stop, walk, stop, walk, sniff, sniff, stop, <laughs> taste, lick, sniff, walk, sniff, lick, taste, sniff. He's literally doing a pan down view bird's eye view of everything and he's not actually looking around him he's just looking at things he wants to sniff at every time he takes a step Buddy. Right. Buddy. come on come on yeah. I think we picked a nice day for it didn't we yeah. I wouldn't think it would matter here if you had a bad day it's still it'd be worth coming down Oh yeah, definitely. That's the remains of somebody's castle. He's pissing on. He's just marked his territory on that. Somebody's effort at a castle.
nice isn't it that seagull there's got the whole bit of water there to himself he's got miles of dunes miles i tell you what compared to some beaches i've been on around the uk it's it's pretty damn good this isn't it look at that boat now all that side of it's lit up it almost looks invisible that's a that's a PO ferry, isn't it? From, from Ireland. Is it? Yeah, it'll be going into uh, the docks. I think that'll be a, a a people, not a cargo one. I think that'll probably be a, the ferry with the you know with uh, people's cars on it and people yeah. doing trips. It just looks massive. It's mad how close they get to the uh, the edge, and you think how deep that water must have to be, just as you go out past the uh, bound out past the boys. There must be a big, it must drop a lot, the, uh, the depth. Yeah. You can see that rig as well, on the stilts. Yeah. To the left of it. Oh, yeah. That's that'll be an oil rig. It's very clear, isn't it? Uh -huh. Imagine on D-Day in World War II, seeing a load of them things rock up on your beach. Yeah. <laughs> in front. It'd be, it'd be frightening that, wouldn't it? Yeah. And then planes in the air as well. Well, that's what you do when you get an unannounced day off. Unannounced days off in the, in the summer holidays. That'll make the most of them, aren't you? Is that another rig over there? It looks like a. Yeah. It, doesn't it look like, a, from a distance, it looks like a, one of them things on Star Wars, the walkers? <laughs> He needs a pal to knock about with, doesn't he? He needs a cocker spaniel. Cocker spaniel? Yeah. Why one of them? Lady in the trap. Oh, right, yeah. Got you. <laughs> yeah. Very, very elegant, them ones, aren't they? A girl at work's just got a cocker spaniel called Lady. Oh, Lady, <laughs> as well. You're not going to call him the tramp, though, are you? No. You're not a tramp, are you, lad? Yeah, it does look like it does look like him, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Let's go on there. Good for your lungs, isn't it? Oh yeah. You look good on the beach, babe. Big that ship now, isn't it? Is that is it cute? Is it peeing out? No, what does it say? That something line, stenner line. That. Oh, is it? Yeah, I've seen where it docks at. It's on. It's on the uh, Birkenhead side. I think. If I'm right. He's eating it, no, don't let him eat it. <coughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to go to Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv? Yeah. Why's that? We'll have to get some sun rays down there, see, see, see what it's like. Where is it? Interesting, where is it? You don't know. Standing in that direction. Ah, uh, he told me he'll hurt himself, and if it's bacteria in it, it'll, it won't do him any good.
Tel Aviv with these guys over here. And now we get to uh, this other place called oh, Tel Aviv will do, won't it? It's nice and hot down there, isn't it? That's pretty cool, isn't it? Look how close it gets to that Stena line. It's rumbling right up. Looks like it's almost hitting the sand. With a few people on that, I imagine. Well, more than a few. Maybe some Irish people. People of my kin. Or my main having granddad's kin. There's a mirage looking down the estuary, you can't see the land beyond it, and it forms like a mirage. That's it, that's weird. You can see the high rises on the, on the near the dock, well, near the centre of Liverpool on the, on the dock, on the uh, waterfront. Uh, one for you there, Sherry sister, which is where you used to live, I think near that big green thing. If you can just make it out, I don't know if you can make that out. You used to live on the waterfront, didn't you? Near them footballers. Yeah. Just make out all the 